Hello everyone. I'm Henry Lee. I'm going to show you a new brush I just got. Um, this is similar to the wrist brush I showed earlier uh, with the um, combination of a uh, hawk and a, and a sheep. This one is a wolf and a sheep. Um, it's a, also a short handle, a little shorter than the first one. So it's about the same. I'm going to paint this uh, uh, beautiful original uh, Palinopsis from Philippines. Okay, and uh, let me just use some uh, watercolor for the flowers. <coughs> so you can see. This is this one comes to the tip after it, it got wet, right? So we just do the flower stroke by stroke. Three smart ones. Actually five. And then the tongue is uh, dark. And then this this one here. Um, Just sort the light, the color, and then just change the tone. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a little crystal or something. A tongue. Um, actually, don't worry about the names. Um, <coughs> so. We can change the color for, let me see, we have a butt there, and a, a butt there, maybe. Then I just use the remaining color, add to the green, so we got this uh, multiple blend very easily. I got the gold, green gold and uh, sap green in the same box and then I load them at the same time. May may touch a little bit. Um, is there crimson or Vincent's uh, blue in the same box? Vincent is blue. And just uh, do this uh, leaves. Let's say you, you can see the, the gradation. Uh, so this is the Easy way to do, just like that, one stroke. And uh, the two more, uh, we don't have to paint exactly what uh, we see, so we try to create uh, some uh, uh, variations. Let me just add some water, so we try to get this light effect and uh, transparent. Transparent green, let me see. I'm not sure if I can get that. Some little things there. Okay, and uh, you can use the paper towel to adjust the moisture and just do. Uh, with the, the tip of the brush, uh, the uh, lines very easily. Very nice gesture. And uh, the roots uh, should be different color, so we'll change that into um, Great, so just dry the brush. I don't really wash my brush that much. You can see how much water I use. And then um, use uh, some uh, brown and uh, gray neutral tint from uh, Danny Smith, I think. Um, and some maybe dark uh, blue, just blend a little bit. We got that gray, I hope. And brown more, brown, brown and, and blue basically. It's too dark. You get some gray. 
and uh, actually, yeah, there, it's very green, it's mouse. So we just uh, try that. I don't really see my my brush. I just follow the uh, my eyes concentrate on the object, and uh, we go from uh, uh, one point to, to another, and then you can kind of like pause. Out and in, something like that. I love this uh, this root, and uh, we normally, uh, you know, we we don't need to paint this uh, tree trunk. Um, in Chinese painting, we leave that for your imagination. But if you want, you can paint what you see. But I I I think I I just like the way without it. See the area roots of that, so you can just uh, paint the, I mean, write the signature, the signature, and the, uh, the uh, see if I can get a little white and yellow here. I'm not sure if I can get it out while dry. Um, The hint of yellow, green, yellow. And the, the, the part is uh, on the, on the, you can see I can do details from details to, to all the um, large and small strokes in one brush without changing the, the brush. And we don't have to do the, the vein, but in this case, you can, you can just draw the center maybe with a dark blue or green to finish. There's, a, there's some kind of texture on the, on the leaf. Um, if you want, you can stiffen a little mouth, mouth, like that. So this brush is all functional. You can use the split brush technique. Um, for like landscape. Um, let's see if we need to continue. Why not? Um, I'm going to do an experiment to just uh, see all the variations of stroke that this brush can, can do. Um, so let's get some brown, dark brown, let's say some um, something like the, the tree. Very dry brush for the texture. You see, this is how effective. And the and some. Uh, oops, it's too green, but that's the mouth color. Just like that. Dry stroke, very nice texture. This brush is uh, it's a little softer than the the first one we had. This this is a uh, but it's more um, flexible. You need to soak the brush in order to keep. But sometimes if you want to split, you you don't have to 
but uh, I prefer to soak the brush completely um, so you will be more concentrated in, in, in good shape. Yeah. Consolidation wash for the trunk. It will dry lighter on, on rice paper, the, the color will change. And I don't have to do the shade, but if you will, you can do the, do the shade, the shading. That's it. Um, and you can use uh, this brush even to sign. Uh, let's just do you can sign. Uh, let's say if this is a watercolor, you can use uh, this to sign uh, initials, maybe. And just sign here. So this, this tool brush makes a good uh, charming brush actually, it's good, uh, easy to carry and also uh, you can use this for uh, home, very powerful tools. My favorite brush recently is I got all this with one more variation from the uh, line. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you want you can order both of the brushes at uh, Blue Heron blueheronarts.com and uh, for YouTube viewers we have a special discount code if you write this down uh, it's spelled YouTuber so with capital Y and then O-U capital T um, U-B-R so YouTube with R YouTuber thanks for watching bye bye